Hey folks, welcome to Watson's Wagons. How are you? Um, today, I'm coming at you from my little uh, model table, my little desk. And uh, you can see that uh, I'm finally getting things cleaned up after all these years and uh, trying to organize my paint situation. So anyhow, I stumbled across um, a, uh, a product that, that comes from Robert Kennedy Art Supply or Kennedy Art Supply, I can't remember which one it is, um, out of Little Rock, Arkansas. And I was shopping around, trying to figure out, you know, I have paints all over the damn place. They're out of control. They're on the rack. There's a there's a bunch down here in containers, uh, down in the drawers here, and I just have no organization. So uh, I ordered a Typhoon, except no substitutes, Paint Mixers and Paint Racks by TyphoonPainting.com. At least that's what the website link is on here. But anyhow, um, you get this cool little kit. Uh, looks like uh, that's been laser cut uh, wood. All right. And they are made for specific uh, bottles. And in this particular case, we've got the 10 milliliter Tamiya bottles. And if you look behind me, I already have another one assembled. Uh, those are the 23 milliliter bottles, and the rack looks awesome. It gives you an opportunity to see to, to see your colors up front and, um, and get them out of the drawer and just sort of have them organized. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and assemble this rack and uh, show you guys what it looks like. Um, I'll just take some pictures, and as I go... Uh, what I did was is I used a little hot glue on that one. So as I built it, rotated it, I hit some hot glue in some of the seams, and uh, it worked perfect. Um, he does have a recommendation of a type of glue that you can use. Uh, but for me, the hot glue worked quickly and and uh, and set up fast. So, But I freaking love these racks, and uh, I think you're going to like them too. So let me let me get at it. What I like about this rack system is, number one, it's made by a guy out of his home. And, uh, you know, when you got people trying to compete against the big guy, uh, I want to give them an opportunity. And uh, so I'm going to share his product. Um, pretty well packed. And uh, th this is nice little plywood material. Okay. And, of course, you got your two end pieces. There's the center support. And uh, it's it's intuitive. It's very simple to put together. Comes with some assembly instructions, and um, and again, they're they're specific to the paint type you have. Now I have Vallejo, I have Citadel, I have two different sizes of Tamiya, and then I have testers. Um, the uh, oh, what size is that? The Model Master stuff. All right, so. I'm trying to get my paints organized, and we're doing that first to start off with the Tamiya stuff and get them get them going. So anyhow, what you get is you get the two ends in the center support, and your little shelves and racks and whatnot, okay? And you'll notice they're offset, okay? Don't make the mistake I made when I first started building it. I don't read instructions. <laughs> yeah. Every other one, right? That way you get a nice offset as you step up the ladder. So we'll set those aside. And then you got your two base plates. All right. So let me get, uh, let me, uh, let me start taking some pictures and I'll incorporate those in the video and I'll show you how it turns out at the end.
So, you know, we've got this thing dry stacked together and I've started to hot glue uh, the, the, you know, the little corners and stuff. So what I've done was, is I just allowed this to bow out a little bit from this brace, put a little glue in there, give it a pinch, hold it for a second, and it's good to go. And then I did the same for every one of these. Now it looks ugly from under here, but you're not gonna see it when it's upright. But this is just gonna add some rigidity to the, to the stand. All right, now I'm gonna go and hit every one of these corners with a couple of plops of uh, hot glue. Same thing on the other side, and then uh, we'll be ready to rock and roll. Pretty simple. Uh, just remember that when you, uh, if you're getting this one here for the 10 milliliter bottles, and that would be the, uh, these small Tamiyas, you know, they fit in here just like this, real nice. And they sort of lock in so they're not gonna fall out. This particular kit has two planks that has a notch in it. So your second tier and your top tier, okay, you got notches to worry about. Other than that, she's looking pretty good. Let's load it up with some paint. So here, you can see I got a bunch of crap in there. I've got some loose bottles and uh, and a bunch more over there. And uh, we're gonna get this assembled and set it up here next to this other rack that I purchased. All right, she's together. You can see she's holding all the paints. Perfect fit. Check it out. So there you have it. Nice, clean organization. And uh, yeah, I do recommend this product. Typhoon. Except no substitute. And I agree. It's good stuff. So Robert Kennedy from Kennedy Art Supply, I love it, dude. It's totally helped me get organized, and uh, I've been unorganized for a whole lot of years, and I'm just not getting back into my old hobby, so thank you. And the other thing I want to tell you, uh, folks, shipping was fast. This stuff came out of Little Rock, Arkansas, and I live in Pennsylvania, so I ordered it, and it was here within a couple of days, so um, can't beat that. Um, anyhow... Have a good night. Thanks for watching and uh, get your paint freaking organized. Yeah.